I am on mute. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. My name is Icy Marinas. I'm your host for Drink Manila Happy Hour. And um, thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're going to have a, a really special guest. Uh, a lot of like uh, a lot of people from uh, the industry know him very well. Uh, so, but to start off with, I would like to uh, explain to you what um, Tip Your Bartender is. So Tip Your Bartender is a way to help our local bartending community during this time of the pandemic. As you all know, the virus has changed, has changed us tremendously and we have had to pivot to survive. This Friday, which is today, for uh, DM Happy Hour, today we will showcase uh, Aoi, uh, Aoi's entry um, for, um, for uh, Drink Manila's Happy Hour. It's going to be, it's called uh, HQ Sour and share this cocktail recipe that you viewers can do at home as well as uh, use this platform to promote his new business that our featured bar bartender has started during the quarantine. Um, you as viewers can show your love by supporting the featured bartender's business and directly send them uh, a tip through Gcash. So we're going to be um, flashing that Gcash number of Aoi later, uh, which we will be um, sharing with you. Um, I would also like to thank our partners for today. Um, Makers Mark has been kind enough to support us today, uh, today's episode, by awarding the highest tipper of this episode. So you have today until Tuesday next week to um, tip the bartender who's being featured today, uh, and with uh, and by getting the highest tipper or being the highest tipper of this episode, you actually get a chance to win uh, a bottle of Makers Mark uh, whiskey bourbon, which is you know really great. Actually, I'm drinking one. I've already started drinking. If you don't have um, a happy hour drink yet, you can start off with this. But later on, Aoi's going to be sharing his um, uh, cocktail recipe. And, you know, he's going to be teaching you how to do it so you can make the really tasty, um, tasty cocktail also at home. Um, so they've been kind of, so Maker's Mark has um, been kind enough to support us for a few episodes already. Uh, and I would like to um, actually announce the... Um, I would like to announce the, the winner of last week's um, Tip Your Bartender. And let me get that. The name is uh, Bernadette Reyes. So she won a bottle of Quantru last week. So Quantru was the one who supported us last week. And this week, it's going to be a really nice bottle of Maker's Mark. So if you want to win, get a chance to win that bottle, please also help your bartender tip them or support their business. He's going to be telling us all about his new... Uh, business that he set up uh, so I'm without further ado I'm going to be okay are we are you good thumbs up are you good now great okay so he's ready he was having some little problems with his um, internet but now he's ready and I'm gonna be putting him on hey Aoi, how are you hi um... how are you can it Good. All right. So um, I was talking yeah, to yeah. the viewers. I was talking to the viewers about um, you. Um, I was actually just about to share with them more information about um, who you are. So, I mean, you've done a lot of like competitions already. You've, you've worked for the finest establishments in, in, in Manila. Um, a few uh, notable establishments that I can mention. Uh, I know that you started working in the bar industry since 2013. And, uh, you know, you started work in Solaire that basically paved your way to working with one of the best chefs in um, Asia, uh, one of the best chefs in the Philippines. And it's Asia's, uh, and it was actually included also in um, Asia's 50 best restaurants. So Gallery by Shelle, a really, really, really high standard um, restaurant. And you were the one who was uh, heading their bar. And I know you've worked with a lot of other um, great establishments also. So you have Solaire and uh, uh, some other uh, really great uh, places. Um, so how has it been? I know that, you know, things have really changed for you during this pandemic, just like pretty much like everybody, right? But then, of course, uh, you being in the um, bar industry, in the in the, um, the service industry, you've been hit more because uh, I, I, I understand that as well. I have a, I'm in hospitality myself, aside from Drink Manila. I also run a, 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 a resort. So I know how that feels. So, um, but about you, you know, you have a family. Um, you've been really successful with your career as a as a bartender. And um, what is what is going on now? How you've you've been forced to uh, 
come up with something to help sustain, uh, support your family as well. And I know that you've come up with a, uh, a chicken uh, rotisserie uh, concept that yeah. uses a family recipe. Tell, tell, us, tell us more about that. Well, basically, when the pandemic started, because um, nobody was prepared for that for sure. Then um, we had some changes, uh, present work ko that, that um, there will be a big impact on the salary na natatanggap namin because of the pandemic. So what I try yeah. to do here is to um, we figured out as a family kung ano yung pwede namin gawin to um, get more income during this time, lalo na yung um, times first 90 days, it was really hard because, you know, parang um, getting like 20% of your um, salary na lang yun makukuha mo, then you have to pay all the bills, all the rents, all the juice. So we tried to come up with this um, family uh, recipe na chicken. It's called Anne Rose. It's Anne Rose because of the name of my wife. So okay, so it it's uh, your wife is named Anne Rose. Okay, cool. Yes, so we um, I did some samples na in improve namin yung previous recipe namin. Then they approve it naman. So the kids really like the recipe. My wife loves it. So we tried to put it into a small business. We started like almost two months ago. Then we are getting very nice feedback saman from our um, patrons, some family members, then friends. Then meron din kami mga first time na nagtry. Then they're still ordering naman. Okay, so it's um it's a glazed chicken for people who don't know what glazed chicken is. Um, what is a glazed chicken? It's basically a uh, like a Korean fried chicken. So um it's um, okay. We fry it first, then we try to put some glaze on it, like something that's uh, uh, spicy. If you're familiar with the so it's the sauces, chicken. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So is it like um, the parts of the chicken? Is it like wings, or is it like the whole chicken in different in different parts, or how does it usually go? Yan yung isang naging isang sa discussion namin before with my wife. So um, there are many chicken wings business na in the whole metro. So we don't want to be part of that na rin kasi we'll have lots of competitors. So what we did is to be um, yung binibenta namin is all parts na. So it's assorted. We have like thighs, breast parts, then the drumstick, wings, everything. So if yung um, orders namin will request for some specific parts, we try to accommodate din naman. So how did you? That's that's really cool. I mean, I I mean, it's it's learning. Is this the first time you're actually doing a business, a food business like this? Actually, um, I started with a food business no high school or elementary with helping my mom. Ah, so you already had a background, okay? Yes. So yun yun naging point then for me na baka yun mo na yung pwede kong gawin at this time kasi it's safer. We do it at home then we just send it out by. Yeah some delivery careers so much that's great so from, yeah. so well, how have um like you know it's totally different with what you've been doing because normally like you know you would be out in the bar you should be facing your clients um yes. how did you how did you uh find you find a way to um to settle in with what you're doing i mean did you feel that at first it was something like what what was your mentality when you know when the pandemic started? Uh, just as a little background as well. Um, so you were working for which bar then? For during uh, before, before the, the pandemic. pandemic, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am actually um, presently working as a Mistral bar. Okay, it's one of my favorite bars actually. Uh, a beautiful rooftop <laughs> bar, which. Yes. Which hopefully when they open and when they're allowed to open, I think it's one, it's going to be one of the safest bars that you can go and visit, uh, because it's open it's space. You know, you don't want to be. Yes. I mean, if you're going to go out, start going out again, and you know, start having um, uh, go seeing your friends again or having meetings. Uh, I think an al fresco area would be one of the best bets. So, um, how did you how did you feel? I mean, you know, from from being in a really nice busy bar, you know, to suddenly, you know, you. You, you had to be forced to stay at home for like um, like 90 days. Um, at first, it was really hard, pero uh, yun nga, 
I was uh, trained na rin naman in that industry before. I, we used to cater yung mga malaking offices with my mom when I was uh, still mm-hmm. young. So, yung pagiging shy type ko with that concept of selling food is um, no longer there na. No? So, I can That's just good. talk to people, sell them what we have, try to offer them what we uh, enjoy uh, in our family. So, um, with that naman, we are really getting good sales on the past few uh, first month that's good that's great so you have like how many different flavors i, I unfortunately i can't taste your flavors but i yes. but just knowing Sorry. that you know you have i know that you have three flavors it's okay i mean i'm sure i can you can't even anyway you can't deliver where i am right now i'm kind of far <laughs> but um i'm sure when i get back to manila i'd love to try your three flavors which is what do you have you have sweet garlic uh, uh, soy sweet gar- the first one will be the sweet garlic soy it's my parang kids favorite so basically it's mm-hmm. um the sweet style of, of chicken then we have the paprika and herbs so what i normally use in mga bar for infusions i try to use it as well in um, our glaze so that we can make some um you know parang experimental flavors that we discovered and we try it and it's really going well naman so the paprika Great, and herbs, so you want it to uh, be different yes basically so paprika and herbs and, is um, one of the spicy um, flavors that we have. Then the recently lang na inad namin, this was launched on the Father's Day, this 2020. It's um, the rum and sesame. It's a sweet and spicy flavor. Great. So rum and sesame. Nakakalasing ba yan, Awi? Actually, <laughs> there was one time <laughs> someone ordered then... We just saw on the picture na yung rum and sesame is napunta sa mga kids. So, wow. wala namang... <laughs> wala wala namang na, nawala na yung uncle noon kasi nainit na yeah. eh. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been really good. So, para siyang, um, parang yung mga Jamaican, ano yan, mga Jamaican glazes. Meron mga rum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, aside from the, aside from the glazed chicken, do you miss, do you miss bartending? What is what what do you miss you know out of this pandemic what do you miss actually yes i can say yes um you know uh, i've been working since 2013 behind the bar so parang there's something na parang you can explore every day naman on, in, when you're behind the bar so yun yung medyo tinatry kong um it up sa sarili ko. So what I'm trying to do to still get that fire burning as a bartender is we try to make some drinks at home, non-alcoholic of course. Okay. But, okay. Uh, still do you serve your you serve your kids? Yes. <laughs> you serve your kids. Nice. Even um every morning, kahit Milo lang yun, I'm trying to reenact like a bartending. So you're method. shaking your Milo. <laughs> yes. Up. Actually, ako, I do that also for my son and my daughter. So, yung Milo nila, shake ko talaga yun. So, favorite nila. Kasi pag lumabas yung Milo, di ba frothy siya? Sobrang frothy. Yes. <laughs> so, gustong-gusto nila yung, yung Milo. Parang upgraded na Milo. <laughs> what? So, what else? Well, aside from, so you've been practicing different flavors, you know, playing around with like, you know, doing stuff at home. Has there anything new? Have, have you come up with something new? With, um with um at home did you discover any new flavors na parang ah may eureka moment ka na pwede pala yung flavors na yan magsama meron naman we'll be launching like a few more flavors sooner we just had some personal matters this past few weeks so we'll continue to um finish all yung ginagawa namin probably by september we'll have new flavors na rin for Anne Rose. Okay, cool. S- speaking of new flavors, and we we're talking about drinks. Can you now show us your your entry, your I know your your um your cocktail while we're you know while we're here in the midst of ano? Sure. Yeah. So basically, what we'll be doing is uh, the one that we call an HQ sour. HQ we name it after for a uh, home quarantine. So it's uh, inspiration coming from the classic rum sour, which is one of my favorite drinks as well. So I'll show you how to make it very easy lang. so there's only a few ingredients sorry i'll just get my eyes 
So guys, thank you so much again for the people who are viewing now. So while Awi is preparing his cocktail, I just wanted to remind you that this this is Tip Your Bartender and you can help uh, by supporting his business or actually sending him a tip. Uh, we're going to be flashing his um, his um, his Gcash over here. Uh, so, you know, please don't be shy because the highest tipper for this episode actually gets a bottle of uh, Maker's Mark from Suntory. So, you know, tip away. Okay, go ahead, Awi. So I already have my ice. Then basically it's a uh, 45 ml na um, dark rum. Any dark rum will do. Then I have my fresh calamansi juice. So very easy to find your ingredients. And this one will be a homemade um, ginger syrup. So it's just uh, boiling the ginger with, for 10 minutes, then adding some uh, white sugar, dissolve it, then strain everything, then bottle it. Put it in your fridge you can have it for a month so very easy lang din. nice so, so those yeah. are the things that i really like to do to to hear you know like you know when you do like your pre-made drinks and then it can just be like a kind of go go to drink you can just pull it out yes of course mm. i have to clap pala. Alam ko clap pag merong competition eh. <laughs> Yon. So after that, I'll just transfer this one to a fancy glass that I have. Then I'll just add a few bits of ice. So here it is. It's the looks HP nice power. with a fancy glass. Beautiful. <laughs> looks really good. Cheers, Awi. Cheers. cheers, cheers. I'm having a maker's mark with some lemon and. Uh, and um, uh, ginger ale. Super simple, uh, easy drink as well. Cheers. So, so tell us more. Actually, balik tayo. Why don't we talk about like, um, so I know that you miss bartending and you said that tagal ka na naka, tagal ka na hindi nakakashake and you would do, you know, just para lang, para lang, ma, I guess, para lang maaliw din kayo, you start doing that at home, di ba? Yes. What are your, what is your, what are your, how, how old are your kids? My eldest is five, then my second is um, just turned four this July. Then my youngest, wow, babies, girl, my youngest girl is um, one, turning two on October. Wow, super babies, babies. So what do they? What do they? Say? Are they, were they happy? Na kasiyempre na stuck aja ng ilang ano na hindi ka lumalabas. Normally, you're out. You know, normally and the evening. Anong oras ang shift mo? Usually closing ba? Yes, if you're working in a rooftop bar, expect that you'll be there until 2 in the morning. So what I had here this pandemic is yung bonding namin during nighttime. You know, um, normally if I'm at work, there's some time na tatawag ako sa kanila or they'll call me na they are going to take their nap na. So matutulog na sila, so they'll just say good night. I'll take a five-minute yeah. break from work para lang kausapin sila before they sleep. Mm -hmm. Yun. But uh, when I got here, nagtataka sila if na hindi na ako maalis, <laughs> hindi ako pumapasok. I'm with them. Anong sabi the nila? Day. They're asking every time na lalabas ako to buy our groceries if I'll be working. Pero yun nga, I told them na wala mo ng work, I'll be here with them. So nakita ko yung um, routines na meron yung wife ko at mga kids ko kung gano sila kakulit. Kung paano nila 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 Tatlo sila during uh, when we started but um, para silang sampu to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so you, instead of na ginajuggle mo yung mga drinks na ino-order so ginajuggle mo yung mga anak mo na? Yes, basically. Parang gano'n na. <laughs> so yun. Uh, I was very happy to be part of their night routines. You know, kasi um, parang when you're a dad, you mami miss mo rin sila during the night time. Kasi pag uwi ko, tulog na sila lahat. When I get up in the morning, saglit lang din, then I have to prepare going to work. Then pag uwi ko, tulog na naman sila. But at this time, I was able to have some bonding with time with them, movies, and actually pa ulit ulit ng movies. <laughs> Yon. So anong favorite then, anong favorite movies nila ngayon? Um, for now, it's um ano bang pinapat? Ratatouille yung nasa 
hit chart namin. Nasa playlist but, nila. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, at, le- uh, at least na tatuwi, di ba? <laughs> yes. Sometimes, uh, yun, yung um, second ko is nagre-request ng Jurassic Park 3. So, yun yung favorite niya. Okay. Well, those are pretty good. Um, I think medyo okay pa yun kasi it could have been a different type of cartoon. You know, it could be like, ano ba yun? Coco? Ano, Coco Melon ba yun? Yung mga ganun? Uh, they're not really fan of the Coco Melon. <laughs> uh, you're very lucky. <laughs> kasi parang pag nagpa-repeat ng repeat yung Coco Melon, para siya nakaka-nightmare na pag obrang repeat na siya. <laughs> But but yeah, so I guess you know you're in a way like you know you're very lucky and you're trying you, you've actually found something positive during this pandemic. So you yes. know you've been able to set up a business, you've been able to um, spend a lot of time with your kids, and that's something that I I can see and I can hear from you that you're really happy about. So what is what what do you think is uh, the biggest uh, takeaway for you? You know what have you learned? You know uh, during this time and what can you share with 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 the viewers who are having a difficult time right now uh who's also in the same position we're in you know they're in hospitality maybe they're bartenders or maybe you know just working in hotels and resorts what can you share with them it's basically very simple lang eh. if you stay at home for 90 days straight you'll really find a different version of, of yourself you'll see yourself doing something that um you don't normally do you discover something then for um, yung mga things na kailangan nyo pala sa bahay or need to work up on to, then you'll find yourself um, a little bit different than before kasi there will be additional things that you have to like to do together. Lalo na if you have kids, uh, you'll be having some routines with them. Yung sa akin, yung night time, I had a chance to get bedtime stories para sa kanila for the first month then then meron pang mga ibang nadagdag recently it's really fun when you um think of the on the positive side kung ano yung pwede mong magain during this um pandemic that's awesome you know um these are things that we like to hear and the congratulations that you've actually taken a, a positive pivot to this situation because I think it's really, really important. And, uh, you know, I hope that, um, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going to be watching this episode and can learn a lot of things from you. Uh, so yeah, keep it up. Awi. Is there anything else that like, so what is, what else is in store for, um, what else is in store for your chicken business now? Uh, what's, 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 what's to come? Is there any new flavors coming out? Uh, any new, um, new dishes? We're trying to play with some uh, whiskey. We're trying to use some whiskey. Still not sure kung ano, but um, we really wanted to do some. Kasi meron din ako mga ribs. couple bottles. <laughs> Baka pwedeng ribs, diba? Bagay yun sa ribs. Well, try. Why not? Diba? If uh, may makuha kami Why supplier, not? then we can do that. Ribs would be Siguro great. Pag Saka, it kinda yun, like... we, can, we can send you samples Sige. already. Sige, sige. And then like, you know when you're eating ribs or even like ribs or, or chicken, sometimes talagang may, may nahanap ka na kailangan uminom ka ng beer, uminom ka ng bourbon or, or something. Yung parang nakakainganyo na, okay, kailangan may ka-partner siya, diba? Is there anything uh, that you're gonna be doing, partnering these with drinks? Actually, um, we'll be launching some uh, ready-to-go cocktails this um second half of august siguro with some great bartenders that i have been talking into it's actually oh, great um, so you're collaborating final, but, with people, huh? yes but we'll launch it this that's, august. The, that's so definitely we'll, the way to go i'll let you know guys if we already finalize everything si glenn din ba gagawa ng sticker niyan yeah that's one more thing <laughs> Stick easy is always uh, going to be part of this Yun yung isang magiging uh, change sa Andros. We'll have uh, more uh, elegant packaging, of course, with the stickers coming from Glenn. <laughs> Great. That's good news. You know, what? one thing I like about, you know, um, when we started this, people just really literally just started their businesses. And uh, fast forward to like, parang mga ano na kami, more than two months na kami. Um, the way that we we've seen everybody grow has been really not really great because from a simple business lang 
nagkaroon na sila ng mga collaboration, nagkaroon na sila ng ano, ang galing. I mean, I'm really, really happy to see that you guys are really taking, the, you know, the reins and really like turning this situation to a positive light and uh, I hope that uh, a lot more people can can see that. You know, people are going to, people right now are watching live, but there's actually more people who are watching this recorded. So, um, you know, what would be the best uh, top five tips or so yeah, three, top three tips for uh, as, aspiring new business people? You know, whether or not you're a bartender, whether or not, you know, you've, you've done business before, but, you know, anong mapapayo mo sa kanila? What can you share? Well, first thing is uh, what my wife always tells me, you know, if uh, you want to start something new, all you have to do is to pray for it first. Yung business namin, we did pray for this and we asked um, if this will be what we are um, going to uh, use para masustain yung lifestyle namin and to uh, pay all the dues and the bills that we have. And uh, it did not fail us. So once you pray, you know, you'll get an answer right away naman din in that uh, you'll feel that you can have the urge para gawin yon, And with that kind of feeling that we receive, um, we did push through for this chicken business. Then second probably is for you to be happy and positive, of course. If happy ka naman kasi, you won't uh, run out of any ideas. If you fail on the other, probably you have another one ready to go para push again yung business mo. And um, if you're thinking it on it positively, then probably you'll get more ideas of course then yung one more thing na natutunan ko is for me not to look on my neighbor's sales kasi some people are really looking into others other establishment eh, yung mga ibang kasama mong nagbebenta ng chicken or kasama mong nagbebenta ng cocktails you see them posting and bragging about their 100 bottles diba then ikaw meron kang 25 for this day you'll feel a little bit um demotivated with that so you don't have mm -hmm. to look on their um income but probably be happy on what you're having i said there will be a time that you will get all those um sales dinaman so just take it slow so for us and we focus. just start yes of course <laughs> kailangan yung focus na doon kasi you have to uh enjoy what you're doing you know kami we started like two months ago, almost two months, then we are, we paused for a while when we are planning to get back this um, August, when we're planning to get back stronger, syempre, we'll try to launch something new and uh, we'll do it uh, together as a family, of course. So watch out to Anne Rose. <laughs> All right, guys. So make sure you support uh, Anne Rose. That's Aoi's uh, chicken, glazed chicken uh, company. Uh, he has got three flavors now, but he has a lot more things coming up. And uh, just to, I'll take this opportunity now to actually explain to them how uh, they can tip you and they can help you as well. So I'm going to flash this on the screen. So guys, how to tip and win a bottle. So watch, of course, tip your bartender pH. Get the Gcash number. We've actually been flashing it on the screen. We're going to be flashing it again. Send a tip, whatever you can. Every peso is appreciated. Take a screenshot and send via dm do it now you have your phones take a screenshot of her of the screen once once you see me and awi again and then the winner will be announced on next week's broadcast so um we've been doing great you know last week we had um great tipper that tipper actually tipped twice um wow. so that's why that's why that person actually won that bottle because that person tipped double the amount of what they what she tipped so kudos to her. Uh, so you guys still have a chance. Earlier, my um, my brother my brother in law was actually behind me. It's, that's him. I forgot to tell him to say hi, but he was there <laughs> behind the screen earlier. <laughs> so he's laughing now. But anyway, he was supposed to win that bottle, but he, I, I think he kind of feels bad that he didn't win last week. So I think that's why he photo bombed our our ano, our back end. <laughs> but uh, guys, don't miss this chance. Oh, ngayon on um. Nick, pwede ka mag-send ulit. Make her smart naman today. <laughs> so, um, guys, if you want to win that bottle, and please, if you really enjoyed this episode and enjoyed hearing from Awi, uh, his insights, and it's either you buy chicken from him, you try out his chicken to support, show your love, or you can tip him directly. Just like if you were, you know, enjoying yourself in a bar. I'm sure if you were in Mistral and you saw um, Awi there and he, you know, I uh, had a really good service with you. I'm sure you would be tipping him. So it's going to be the same thing. Now you have a chance to do that. 
only now it's virtual so you know for now you know we have to stay safe you know social distance we can't see each other face to face which is really sad because nakakamiss iba talaga yung physical contact eh, no? when you're actually yeah. seeing people uh you know I, you know you i'm sure you miss your friends you know you miss your clients you know you miss your people from people from work and uh people just you know in general just miss going out but i guess now we just have to stay stay safe so um awi uh what else is there anything else that i have um uh forgotten maybe you would still want to say hi and thank you to some of your friends maybe a shout out maybe well tapos na rin naman sis take it easy so glenn Thomas kasi yan. <laughs> so we'll get um, yung stickers namin. For if you're starting a business, contact nyo lang yung Stick It Easy, you know. Uh, super uh, affordable and very uh, good than yung um, service nila. Alright, so guys, uh, so is it is that all? Wala na? You haven't forgotten anybody? I'm sure. Uh, wala naman na, except for my family. I just uh, want to thank them, especially yung... Um, wife ko and um, her family as well kasi nakikonect lang ako sa kanila ngayon <laughs> nag okay, great <laughs> oh well buti na lang naka-connect ka but anyway guys again um awi thank you so much for joining the show and you know uh, good luck and more power to that uh, business of yours and rose i'm going to try you when i get back to manila um sure. and um definitely i'm going to try and i will look forward to having your uh, to go cocktails that's something to look forward to. Um, I've been doing, I've been lucky to be able to take uh, road trips. And I can tell you, once everybody is allowed to start doing road trips and travel to like, you know, drive out, one of the best things to have as Baon is actually to go to cocktails. And there's a lot of people selling to go to cocktails. Aoi is one of, you know, I, I always make sure that like, if you, if you do ever buy um, go to cocktails and you will find the benefits of having them, um, Please buy from you know your your uh, your bartenders you know these because these bartenders they know what they're doing so um, yeah so support your local bartenders and support Anne Rose uh, thank you so much for guessing again and guys if you don't have a drink on your hand um, I'm just drinking um, a whiskey so it's a Maker's Mark with ginger ginger ale and uh, lemon and Awi is having his rum HQ sour rum. HQ Sour with calamansi and, and it's fantastic. So guys, there's no reason why you should be drinking, you know, so-so drinks at home. You can still drink great and still good. Um, have a happy weekend. It's a Friday. Uh, there's a lot to celebrate. Uh, if there's any questions whatsoever, if you, you know, want to be able to like order from, um, from Glenn, we're flashing it now. So you can follow Glenn. So follow Drink Manila first on Instagram and on our website for all the recipes you can follow us on youtube as well but you can also check awi on facebook so it's good awi and andro's chicken on facebook okay so um that's it so again guys cheers awi cheers thank you so thank much you. and guys thank you have a great weekend okay bye, bye.